step by step getting from the Earth to the Moon using the AMSO add-on. And we left off with our stack in orbit. And our next step would be to do the translunar injection. I'm going to use the Lunar Transfer MFD. You press Program and then come over here to uh, to the plus sign and then hit next to go on down to the different items on the list so I get to the auto exec and enable that by hitting the plus sign again go back to programs and then go over uh, by hitting next to get to the program translunar injection the TLI and we'll hit the plus sign and we can come over and select DV, and sometimes I get confused or execute, and then from there we can press the DV button, and once we press DV, it'll bring up the auto burn uh, with the items on the left, the left showing applied, they're all zero, and the ones on the listed on the right column of what's needed. That's the PLG. Uh, we have oh, 3,000 some seconds. We have probably a good hour before we're going to do this burn. And the BT is your burn time. And that's the last five minutes. So let's jump ahead a whole hour using, and just for the sake of uh, practice, go on down. It's enabled. We'll go through the program again. Uh, refresh everybody how this is done. The TLI, hit uh, the plus sign, come on over, hit the DV, and when we're ready to do the auto burn, uh, or at least uh, set the program for auto burn, we hit the execute. And you see that it's executed because it says waiting over here, and that tells you how much time is left before the burn will start. While we're waiting for that, uh, let's go over to the other MFD, which is now the Orbit MFD, and change that to the old style. The way I used to go to the moon before I had the Lunar Transfer MFD, uh, I would use the, the standard transfer MFD. So I select Transfer MFD, and this is just for reference so everybody can see how to use the Transfer MFD. It's not needed at all, and we would go in here and select Moon as our target, and then do the DV, first the hypothetical orbit, HTO, and then we need to move the DV up to about 3,000 and some. If you know exactly, uh, using the mission checklist, what to set the DV for, that's the amount of burn that you would need to get to the moon. You could just keep that up until you get uh, the 3,000 on the for, over on the DV on the left column there. If you don't know, uh, you can just keep pressing it until you get the visual you see the visual coming up now and it crosses the yellow circle which is the lunar orbit around the earth and the center is the earth and then you would move the gray line on top of the dash yellow line uh, to connect uh, just like throwing a football to a receiver and you know Currently, the yellow line over the yellow circle is where the moon's currently at, but it's going to make its way to be intercepted by, um, hopefully, by our spacecraft. Now, you see that the burn goes out a little ways uh, past the yellow line. Actually, if you just made it go up to it, it would Command take almost 20 a week. seconds, mark 20 seconds to TLI ignition. It would take you almost a week to get out to the moon, so you do a little bit more burn. It takes the 
elliptic out further uh, than the orbit of the moon, but it would get you there in, I don't know, about 75 hours or 80 hours, so just a little bit more in three days. Yeah, we can. Roger, ignition. With the old transfer MSD, you'd have to basically set the, the DV to whatever the proper numbers would be uh, if, if you knew okay, those. Houston, we're showing good thrust. And you can add more DV if you want to get there a little faster, a little bit more burn time. As you do, you know it's going to change the intercept line, so you're going to move that gray line back over on top of the yellow one by changing the plus or minus on the EJ. Hit the plus or minus on the EJ, and, and now we have an intercept for a little bit more quicker burn. Actually, we can kind of cheat and look at the lunar transfer MFD and look at the, the burn it has there. And the numbers say 3,164, and we can come over and make the DV match on the transfer MFD and, uh, and, and, and get the similar type of results. I've always been very successful using the transfer MFD going out to the moon. Um, uh, and found it to be easy, but uh, I'm not doing anything with the transfer MFD. The auto burn is actually all being controlled by the lunar transfer MFD. minutes or so, and then when it's done, we're on our way to the moon.